It's January in Brooklyn, it's 40 something degrees out here, and none of these guys have access to a shower, which is a very important detail because today we are doing the crucifix hold, the axe hold, the hammer hold, it goes by a lot of names. This is a classic strongman move of holding heavy stuff out to your side for as long as you can. It is not sexy, it's not about explosive power, it is about teeth, gritting, muscle, burning, endurance. Here today, our contestants are three bar band editors. Yes, there's more than one of us. No, we're not just one guy in his mom's basement. And we're doing what we're calling the gallon of milk challenge. Each contestant gets two gallons of milk, weighing roughly 8.6 pounds, told out to the side of their bodies for as long as they can. The person who holds it the least amount of time gets the milk poured all over their stupid head. And whoever holds it for the second longest gets it poured all over their stupid head. And the guy who holds it for the longest Get support all over his colleagues who he secretly probably doesn't like that much because he worked alongside them all day, every day. Let's meet the contestants. What is up, David Tao? I'm gonna win this milk challenge. A lot of people think that if you write about strength sports, that means you're a good strength athlete. And the answer is, it does. Why am I going to win this milk challenge? Because I care the most. Jake and Phil, I can see the weakness in their eyes. I drink milk, I love milk, I'll hold milk. I'm Jake. I like pizza. I like skateboarding. I like going out late and staying up late with my friends on the weekends. My dad doesn't like it, but that's okay because he doesn't even like me. This one time in high school, I had a bad hockey game. He never came to another game, so that's why I'm going to win. What's up? My name's Phil Blackman. This is how I stand all day long. Milk or not. Let's go. Psh, dairy? Milk? I put that in my cereal. I put that in my mac and cheese, and I put it on my opponent's heads. First contestant, David Thomas Tao. David Tao is taking the unusual approach of not lifting raw today. He's using wrist straps, which we imagine will give him zero advantage at the end of the day. Nonetheless, he's taking it a card. So, ready your dairy, David Thomas Tao. In five, four, three, two, one. This is a sport. This is an event that's truly about individual grit, focus, monk-like energy. Is he Goku? Maybe. Is he summoning a Ryu like Hadouken? He could be. We don't really know. But the man has just hit 38 seconds and he seems to be going fine. Now, when that dairy falls below parallel, that is when he has lost the event. You may also notice that David Thomas Tao is using a uh, lifting belt, which also, like the wrist straps, is conferring practically zero benefit. Indeed, probably a negative benefit. He looks like he's struggling a little bit. Is he gonna keep it up? We think David Thomas Tower has got this. He just went past one minute of holding it. You can see the burning in the delts, the burning in the forearms, and the burning behind his eyes, because once again, this is the sport of concentration. Can he pull it off? No, he's, he's still above parallel. The man's doing it. One minute, 40 seconds. He's done. That was one minute, 43 seconds for David Thomas Tao. Next up, Barbell's fitness editor, Jake Bully, lifting raw. Ready your dairy, Jake Bully. Well, that, that really ruined everybody's day, but okay. Ready? Okay, on four, three, two, one, up. As for usual, Jake is putting his insecurity on display by ensuring that everybody can see how nice and lean his abs are. Jake appears to equate leanness of body with size and strength, a fallacy that many people fall into. Interesting fact about Jake Bully, the longer his facial hair, the worse his personal life is usually going. He's got a nice bushy beard going right now. Jake Bowley is indeed a competitive powerlifter, the only competing powerlifter on the broadband team, looking to deadlift 600 pounds at his next meet. Does that translate at all into shoulder endurance, holding gallons of dairy? Likely not. We are at 52 seconds. Interesting fact about Jake Bowley, he has the lowest quad to calf ratio on the barband team. And he's really insecure about his quad. So everyone there in the comment section, I encourage you to get in there and get a few digs at him. If you know the scar on Jake's knee there, that's because he tore his quad a couple years ago. One minute, 30 seconds. His physical therapist said it was because, quote, his glutes were trash. 57, 58, 59. Two minutes for Jake Bowley. Well done. 
Last contestant, he's the newest Barbie employee. Can he get the longest time with the gallons of milk? His name, Phil Blackman. Phil Blackman, ready your dairy. Four, three, two, one. Crucifix hold. Interesting fact about Phil Blackman, the man is a playwright. He also used to be a background extra on World Wrestling Entertainment, also a pestle trainer, and definitely the largest triceps of the broadband office. Unusually, Phil is elected to wear one compression sock. That's because he has a history of blood clots. What's interesting about Phil Blackman is that he actually works his vanity muscles more than many of the other broadband riders who tend to focus on squats and deadlifts, which are very functional, but not at all useful for an exercise such as this. And Phil's extra emphasis on his bicep, tricep, and shoulder size and hypertrophy may indeed give him a benefit in this particular contest of strength one minute threshold, Phil Blackman. Another interesting fact about Phil Blackman, he is my personally most disliked employee at Barbend and I'm rooting for his failure. Phil Blackman having a fantastic time out here. Another fun fact about Phil Blackman, like everyone else, he doesn't have access to a shower and really hasn't thought through what he's going to do if indeed he does wind up on the losing end of a gallon of dairy. One minute, 44 seconds, 1.45. Phil Blackman is Bob and Staff News writer. A fantastic writer in his own right. 156, 57, 58, he's gonna do it. 59, two minutes. Phil Blackman is the winner of the Barkman Gallon Milk Challenge. Oh, <laughs> Unreal, two minutes, four seconds. And with two minutes and four seconds, Phil Blackman is the winner, definitely beating out Jake Bowley's two minutes and David Towers, one minute, 43 seconds. I hope you guys are not lactose intolerant because we're about to go mad with a gallon of milk today, gentlemen. Thank <laughs> you.